This is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight because I am still in the great city of Des Moines, Iowa. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. I am also very, very excited because this is round three versus this very famous Adam Emenecker Sandwich Challenge. I've already actually beaten this two different times, but I still get so many people request that I attempt it, not knowing that I've already done it. But I'm here at Jethro's Barbecue Southside. There's eight Jethro's locations all around the entire Iowa area. This was actually my ninth win ever back in 2010. And then a couple years ago, I did it at their Ankeny location. The first time, eight minutes, 20 seconds. The second time, 13 minutes, 22 seconds. I am back again because I love the people and the food here. I've only got 15 minutes to finish this entire Adam Emenecker sandwich challenge. For those of you who do not know, Adam Emenecker is a famous basketball player who went through Drake University, which is here in Des Moines. But this is pretty much all of his favorite food. So 15 minutes to just really shut up and eat this time. And I'm actually gonna have to shut up and eat. So I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. But we've got a whole bunch of buffalo chicken tenders. We've got a whole bunch of their beef brisket. I think there's like a pound of that. There is a bacon cheeseburger, and then there is also a Iowa pork tenderloin. We've got yeah. the bun, and then we have a spicy pickle on top. The last time I did this thing, I went with tater tots, but uh, just like the first time, we've got waffle fries here today. So right around five pounds total. If I fail, it's gonna be $24.99. If I win, I'm gonna get my meal free. I will get another sweet t-shirt to add to my collection, and I'll be the very first person here at this Jethro's Barbecue Southside locations. I'll be on their wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, feeling very good today. I did an hour and a half uh, spin bike earlier today at a park nearby. Big thank you to Ben and his staff. He's the general manager here. Thank you to the overall owner who they call Jethro. And then thank you to Dominic, the operations manager for all eight locations around the area. My friend Molly Schuyler, she's done this challenge a whole bunch of times at a lot of the locations. Her record is crazy. Three minutes and one second. And a new world record! Technically, if I beat that record, I can win $5,000 cash, but it might as well be a billion dollars. That is not gonna happen. I just wanna break the 13.22 that I did last time, but I am gonna try to break 10 minutes because I'm feeling good. Enough talking, let's shut up and eat. Go ahead.
Okay, that's the last of the brisket. He's only got the tenderloin in the bun and waffle fries left. Here he goes. Very happy to have that uh, brisket gone. All right. chasing them with the diet soda. Very happy to get the win. I am getting old, but I am not done yet. I can still do it. They haven't had a winner at any of their locations since 2018, they think, uh, other than Molly, of course, whenever she does this. Great to be the first winner here at Jet Rose Barbecue, the South Side location. It just opened up like a year and a half ago, so boom. My, the guy on my team, Justin, got this uh, challenge scheduled not knowing that I had already done it twice and I've been worried about it since because I've been doing this 11 years now and I'm not as fast as I used to be. But I can sleep good now because I dominated. I don't have to come back for a challenge I've already beaten. I have won three times now. So big thank you to Bruce and everybody here with Jeff Rose. I am going to get the $24.99 meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt down to my collection, which is awesome. And I'll be the only person at this location with my name and photo up on the wall of fame. So thank you guys all for being here. I was not about to try to drink this during the challenge just because I needed to shut up and do whatever it took to win. It is a Kinship Iowa Corn Pilsner we're in Iowa, of course it's going to have corn in it, but hey, cheers. cheers, thank you guys all for being here. I had a great time in Des Moines, Iowa, we're on to uh, Omaha, Nebraska from here. Good job, Randy.